So there was a group, a large group of people from different countries was on the project team and we made recommendations having looked at the alcohol policies and situation in Finland and our first recommendation was the Finnish people choose and this is all about people freely choosing what they want for their society. We're from outside, we can just say that if you wish to reduce harms you should perhaps um, support your monopoly, not for its own sake, but because if you have a monopoly, it is easier to influence policies that matter. If there's no profit incentive, so there's no aggressive chasing of young drinkers to recruit young drinkers or to make alcohol cheaper to get people to drink more. Um, if, you do, if you protect your monopoly, it's easier to protect the public health and safety. Then we made some specific restrictions that you might consider um, Finnish policies being a little stricter like in the Swedish situation where there's less strong alcohol in the grocery stores and fewer stores and shorter hours of trading and slightly higher prices. So you still have a lot of access to alcohol and it's convenient but actually the harms are really reduced across the board especially for heavy drinkers and there's lots of evidence now that if cheap alcohol is restricted and you have a minimum unit price so that means you cannot buy alcohol below for like a, a fixed amount of alcohol below a certain price we suggested a euro as a starting point to think you couldn't buy alcohol for less than a euro per standard drink that would be a start um, and that would really um, reduce some of the heavier consumption and more hazardous drinking in Finnish society